Hey guys, this is a recipe for Parmesan crackers, and this is the best one I can find so far. I've kind of tweaked it a little bit. So I use my Ninja as a food processor, and that is about uh, three quarters cup of shredded Parmesan. We're gonna do one full cup of almond flour. I get it from Costco. It's the Kirkland brand, and it's about $12.99 for three pounds. Then we're gonna do a pinch or so of salt, which is the pink Himalayan salt, and the same amount for pepper. All right, and then this, um, I found that one egg is great for this recipe. It, it gives it enough liquid and still enough thickness just to be a good cracker. And now we're gonna mix it up for about 30 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and get that batter out of there. It is pretty thick. I just go ahead and use a regular spatula. All right, so you're gonna wanna put a piece of parchment paper under it as well as on top of it so that the rolling pin doesn't stick to the dough. And you can really use anything you want. I just use a rolling pin to roll it out. It just seems to be a lot better. Once you do that, you can go ahead and take off the top parchment paper. And then I grab a knife and just lightly score it. So just barely put your knife into it just so you can make the shape of the crackers. And then you wanna do it across ways as well so you can get your cracker shape. All right, then you can put it on 375 for about 18 to 20 minutes. I did have to go a couple minutes over just to make it a little bit more brown on the center of the crackers. And there you go. Those are the crackers that survived. Some of the outer ones got a little bit too burnt but they turned out really good. The flavor is really nice, and they're nice and crispy. Okay, and this is the food I brought for dinner at work. So I have my crackers, then I have the Rayo's tomato basil sauce with sour cream, and then I have the all-natural beef sticks and Dijon mustard. And you could really use anything like guacamole or just sour cream. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.